welcome back to another Amazon Prime haul and we're in a different location because I'm in the winter setup. I need to kind of readjust some things but if you haven't watched my channel before or maybe you have um, in the winter last year throughout kind of the end of the year and the beginning of the year I was kind of here because the lighting's a lot better whereas in my other filming place the lighting doesn't work um, too well like in here we've got loads of lights so it's just a little bit better and my Amazon packages came really late so I was going to film this today and they didn't come until really late so I was like hmm, where is Amazon because obviously they can come anytime throughout the day but usually they come pretty early but they didn't but either way I have these two packages so not too many things but quite interesting fun things so I'm of course going to open this smaller one first so let's go ahead and open it up strip is off in one go okay bum ba -dum. So the first thing I'm going to pull out here, if I can, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Now you guys voted for me to pick this movie up in the poll, so here it is. Hey, it's not got a digital copy, it's just a Blu-ray. What is that about? Plus this was about £6, so I was like, that was a good deal. Last time I looked at it, it was about £8.99, so it's actually gone down in price since I put it in the poll, so that's pretty cool. I've actually not seen the other Mission Impossible movies, so... I am going to watch this one and see how it goes. I am looking forward to watching as well the one before this, what was it called? Ghost Patrol? Ghost Poach? I don't know. Um, but yeah, Rogue Nation. It's got Simon Pegg in it. Um, and you guys voted for it for me to watch it, so I'll be watching that this week. Um, we've also got a PS4 game, Adventure Time, um, Finn and Jake Investigations. This went down in price and I was like, oh. so I kind of snagged up it when I saw it. Um, I kind of haven't been picking up any games because at the end of this month so many games that I really want come out I've just been waiting and waiting but this kind of went on the sale well not on sale it's reduced in price so I thought I'd grab it while it was while it was cheaper and it kind of looks cool on the back now I'm looking at the back it looks it looks a bit um, like a game I would have played like the graphics don't look the best but I obviously haven't played the game but on the back it looks funny um, but yeah, still, I'm looking forward to this. I actually, I've watched some Adventure Time, but I'm not the biggest fan. But I just think the games look really fun. I don't know, so. I don't really like the characters and stuff, so. I wanted to pick this one up, and like I say, it was on a good a good price. I've been looking, I've been having my eye on that one for a while. And then, the final thing in this box is something that I'm so excited about. DC Superhero Girls, Hero of the Year, original movie. <gasps> I cannot wait to see this. I hope it's good. I hope I love it. How long is it? Um, 73 minutes. I'm so excited to watch this. I hope they do more DC Superhero Girls movies. Um, I think it just looks so much fun. And I've seen the um, kind of a trailer or a clip and the animation looks great and I cannot wait to watch this and I probably will review it as well on its separate own review. So that's DC Superhero Girls. And then that is everything in that box. So now we have the bigger box. So let me get some trusty scissors and open this up. Now this one I think has different things in than things that I usually talk about on this channel, but I thought, you know what, I'm gonna just, I can't get in the box, hold on. I know you guys can't see, but I can't, I can't kind of do it. I can't, but it's hard. Oh, I'm making way here. Why a box is hard to get to? Okay, other side. Yeah, it has different things in what I usually talk about on this channel, but you know, I think Amazon hauls are fun if they're kind of varied in things. So here we go, we have a lot of packing, which is good because something is breakable in here. Okay, some paper. Okay, so first of all, we have. Okay, it's kind of. Where's the. There we go. Burt's Bees. Right, basically, the other day I used some Burt's Bees. I borrowed it off my mum. Um, lip balm. And I've been buying loads of lip balm because I've been having dry lips for weeks. And then this Burt's Bees one, one time using it, made everything so much better. So, I have ordered a few Burt's Bees items which are in here. And this one first is actually a baby kind of thing, but. I've read people uh, in the reviews, loads of people have uh, reviewed it for really great things and it's Baby B Petroleum Free Multipurpose Ointment um, and this is it here and basically I have, I, when I was younger I had eczema and I still have um, it a little bit now but if you watch any of my videos and you kind of know I've been having a lot of problems with my eyes this year so I thought this might be really good to try and use on my eyes because I know it works really well I know my skin kind of works well with the other Burt's Bees stuff so I thought I'm going to try this um, and hopefully, let's see if we can smell it. Is there a thing on it? Yeah, there's, uh, there's a thing. And there's no little lip. So 
I can't smell through there. But anyway, so that is, that's that Burt's Bees item. And so I'm looking forward to trying that. It wasn't super expensive, but it wasn't super cheap. So hopefully it'll, and then we have this, which I think this is gonna be super cute. Let me just unpackage it. Oh, is it okay? How do I get in here? Hang on. I mean, it's like a bubble wrap bag. Okay, it's actually way tinier than I thought it was gonna be this little. Okay, it's a little, oh, it's so cute, look at it. And it says wild for bees. And there's a bunch of little things in here, so I will show you what is in here, but it's so tiny, but I love it. Look, you can put a little candle in this, I would say. Okay, so I'm gonna open this. How do I, can I open it without wrecking it? Probably not, oh there. I can, I can, I can. <gasps> I've not, I've, hang on. It's more of like a, oh, there we go. It's more of like a gift thing, but obviously I bought it for myself. Now this actually, oh, smells so good. Wasn't super cheap, well it wasn't super expensive actually, because the lip balms themselves are like £3.50, and this was £8.99. You get a little pot, and you do get a couple little things. So you actually get two of the lip balms. So this one is just the, this, oh, this is the one, this is the one I really like. It's the vitamin E and peppermint one. And it obviously is a beeswax lip balm. And then we've also got honey. So this is just a honey one. So we've got honey and vitamin E and peppermint. So you get two of those, which again is quite good because like I say they're £3.50 I think on their own. So that really already you've kind of, so actually it's a pretty good deal thinking about it now. So I've got two of those, which I'm super happy about because that's what I really wanted to order. And then we've also got the um, Burt's Bees hand salve. So... That's like a little hand, ooh, smells good, it's for your hands, so that'd be really good in winter. So there's that, and then in here there's also, I'll probably give this to my mum, it's kind of random as well, it's um, Wild for Bees Seed Sachet, and it kind of attracts bees and stuff, and I know that uh, my mum and Graham have been trying to do like some kind of bee thing, bringing bees to the garden, they really like bees, um, so I think that's pretty cool. And then again, you get this little little pot, which I think is just really cute um, decoratively. So yeah, I really am happy with that. Um, I think it's really cute, and I'm really happy to uh, excited. Sorry to use my Burt's Bees stuff. So I think that was a super cute little thing to put in my Amazon haul. So like I say, I got this little jar with a bunch of different bits in, and then I got the ointment. But that is not all. There is something else in the Amazon box, and this I'm super excited about. And it is Ghostbusters 1 and 2 on Blu-ray and digital copy. I have not seen the second Ghostbusters. And I haven't seen this first one since I was really young. And so I don't really remember it too well. And so I need to watch it before the new one. It comes out on Blu-ray in, in November, sorry. Um, so I, and I think I'm just going to love it. And I also want to get into the, like, I mentioned Ghostbusters. And so I, just, I need to watch this. And this is just such a cute little set. And it's got a digital copy which I love and it's Blu-ray and I'm so happy. So yeah, those are all the things that I picked up. So I've got three movies, uh, one PlayStation 4 game and some Burt's Bees things. So let me know down in the comments below if you've seen any of these movies, played any of these games or used any Burt's Bees products. And I will see you guys next time. Give a big thumbs up if you enjoy Amazon hauls and want to see more. I'm always somehow purchasing things on Amazon because they just have good prices and I have Amazon Prime and I just, it's a, it's a problem. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, or if you are a newbie, and I'll see you then. Goodbye!